Hey, Rob Alden here, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. I'm gonna do another uh, t-shirt design tutorial today. We're gonna work with negative images. So what I mean by that is usually you have your, your text or your logo printed on the shirt so the ink is the logo. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna put an ink design around the logo and then the logo will actually be non-printed so it'll be the color of the t-shirt showing through. Okay, so here I've got a design here. I've got some inks already in there. Let's add a few because you want it large enough because that's where my logo is going to go. So okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. What I want to do now is I want to group all my design elements and put it into a folder. Okay, so if I toggle that on and off, you can see all my design elements are in there. And now what I'm going to do bring in my logo so we got my our new IMX logo here let's copy that bring it over paste okay so what we want to do is on our folder with all our design elements we're gonna hit the mask button we're gonna create a mask okay now I'm gonna create another layer here actually I'm first I'm gonna position my logo where I want it in the ink that seems pretty good right there I'm gonna create another layer as I just did layer 10 put it below my logo and I'm going to fill it with white. Okay, now I got just my logo with the white. Now I'm going to merge these two together. So select both layers, come here, merge layers. Now I'm going to select the canvas and control or command C for copy. We're gonna copy that. Now, as I hold down alter option, I'm gonna click on the mask of the folder layer and this opens up the mask. I'm gonna then paste, a Control or Command V, and I copy that in the mask. Now, by the rules of mask, you know, we know how that works. Black becomes invisible, white is visible. So click outside the mask, and we come back to our layer, and there you have it. Okay, so if you've seen my other videos, we all know what to do from here. We gotta bring this into Illustrator and vectorize it. So to do that, I'm going to remove the image of the shirt. The background, I'm gonna fill it black because we're using a white ink. I'm then going to flatten my image. Make sure to save before you do this so you don't lose all your work. Copy that. Paste into a new canvas in Illustrator. We're going to hit image trace. We're then going to hit expand. We're going to get our direct selection tool. Select the black. Come here. Select same fill color. Delete the black right now because it's white on white so we can change that let's say to a red color and there's our image in vector format you can then send that to your printers get it printed on any color shirt you want and what I like to do is always grab this image when I send things to print always send a template of the shirt like this put it on there so you can show the printers this is what I want this is what the final shirt should look like and so that you receive exactly what you're looking for. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, nice and quick, so negative images on a t-shirt. Um, if you want more tips and more in-depth training on t-shirt design, including uh, shirt templates and different design elements, please click the link and I'll take you to 10minutephotoshop.com. Uh, follow me on Twitter, that's IMX Productions. Thanks for watching. Please comment below if you like the video and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Thank you. Have a good day.